scientists say they have created the first monkey human hybrid in a lab in China. These researchers claim that they want to use animals to create organs for human transplants. Interesting that this news is coming out of a country that allegedly harvests organs from prisoners against their will. Oh shit, I said it. Oh god. Oh. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news and make it entertaining. I'm Charlotte Dobre. You should like subscribe, please. Pretty please. With a potato on top. Fine, you're lost. For the first time ever, scientists have created embryos that are part human, part monkey. The research was led by Spanish scientist Juan Carlos Ispisua and his team was Spanish. The team says that they injected human stem cells capable of creating any type of tissue into a monkey embryo. They conducted the experiment in China in order to get around a ban in Spain. You know, because we all know the questionable medical experiments that are not a rare occurrence in China. If you aren't aware, many whistleblowers have come forward with claims that the Chinese government imprisons peaceful practitioners of the Falun Gong spirituality and harvests their organs without their consent, killing them. If you want more info on that, I'll leave a link at the top of this video for you. It's super interesting, highly reco. But anyways, back to the story. Ethical concerns have arisen over the experiment because people say that human stem cells could migrate to the brain. Angel Raya of the Barcelona Regenerative Medicine Center said what happens if the stem cells escape and form human neurons in the brain of the animal? Would it have consciousness? And what happens if those stem cells turn into sperm cells? Definitely a valid question to ask if you don't want a Planet of the Apes scenario on your hands. Estrella Nunez of the Murica Catholic University, who's the project collaborator, said that mechanisms were actually put in place so that if human stem cells did migrate to the brain, they would self-destruct. Interesting. Don't you love science? I do. The scientists say that the experiment was stopped before the monkey-human hybrid could be born, but the scientists say that it very well could have been born and lived. The scientists set a line at 14 days gestation, which is a short time, not long enough for an embryo to develop a central nervous system. All embryos are destroyed before that happens. Ethical concerns always keep these types of experiments from happening, but who knows what might be possible if they weren't illegal in many places. People wouldn't have to die waiting months or even years for an organ transplant because people who are on the list for an organ have to wait for someone to die in order to get their organ. It would be amazing if it would be possible to create organs from scratch that didn't cost a human their life so that another human life could be saved. The problem is, these types of experiments are very costly. It's hundreds of thousands of euros to carry an experiment like this out. The lead scientist, Is Pisua, was actually the same guy that created the first human pig hybrid in 2017. That experiment wasn't as successful because of how different humans and pigs are in relation to humans and monkeys. Researchers have also had more success with research on rats. Dr. Is Pisua said that he will continue to research on primates in the hopes of eventually creating organs for human transplant. Now, I know that this story is going to raise a lot of concerns. Concerns, particularly among people who are pro-life as well as people who are vegetarians and vegans. What do you think? Is it worth it to save a human life if we could create organs and harvest them off of human monkey hybrids? Let me know in the comments and while you do that, it is common time. These are from a video man in a coma after using cheap vape cartridge. The Wild Dinka said, one of my best friends vaped the 0% nicotine pods until one day she got a hit of the stronger stuff and now she sneaks out of class to vape the entire period. Sounds like a few people I know. Rajay Gaming said, my favorite news channel, they give the news but make it funny. See, Rajay thinks I'm funny. DNA God said, Charlotte, if you had to choose between kittens and potatoes, what would it be? Do you even have to ask that question? That is it for this video. If you want to keep watching, check out our playlist that's right over there. And leave a like if you enjoyed your time here. Subscribe if you want more. And maybe I will see you in a future IO video.